Hi everyone, good morning and I hope you're having a good day and ready for some editing with Photoshop. Today we're going to cover how to take a photo and put it in a different background. As you can see the one in front of you is here yeah, of, of William I put in a river with a few crocodiles and he's portraying thing of fear but it's more like fun. It's not really fear and it's not really there. Um, it was a fun thing we had for the theme and I told him exactly how to react. And then this is my favorite one on a spider with Sean and William. Um, we actually used the brick wall outside and I made them pose up and imagine this huge spider coming to eat them. And that is a lovely reaction. And the background is just correct for that editing. And of course their favorite one is the dinosaur in a dinosaur field. Um, again, you get them to react the um, scene you want to play and then boom, bang, put them in the background. Another simple one is driving on the highway and we added a little saying with it, which was also different. Um, I also used the fire dragon and my famous firefighter, blower, I mean, and I put that together. That didn't make much explaining to do because he he blows fire all the time so he knew what I wanted. We also used the African theme here um, when uh, Dale, Laurie and uh, Harris came out to Africa and I wanted something very Africa so it left a little memory so that's what I made. And then some plain um, wedding photos um, I chose to put in a cloudy background from a recent wedding I did and it does you can see it makes actually a big difference and also to some plain portrait which were just white backgrounds um, I added them into other backgrounds and this one was a witchy theme as well and that was quite simple to do and in the streets of France I took a couple and put them in the streets of France and yeah it's just very very pretty then um, one of the young gentlemen who posed, um, who did a shoot for me, um, was just a white background and I took him out of that white background and then placed him in this background. Um, some other ones, I have Kate on the side here, also a white background, I put a brick wall behind her. Little Bradley, white background and I put him, I put the river behind him. And we also had Lorela and white background and I put her in the, the sea. And then the last one, a family photo, they were all together and I put a park scene behind them. So it, it is fun and people call for this today. Um, and let's be honest, you don't always get those scenes exactly like you want. So this is where our editing comes in. So if we go to this window here, you'll see I have a little baby boy, which in a white background that I normally use in my photo shoots or a black background. And... I want to put him in that background. So you ask how? Well, I was lucky with Photoshop. I carry taught me and a very simple, easy way. I don't know all these short press F9, F10. I don't know those. I just know it from a simple form. So I like my mouse. Well, I actually use a tablet when I edit. And we use the quick selection tool. Well, I use the quick selection tool. I find it. It really helps me much easier than the other ones. And I understand it better. And I like it. But of course, use it, use Photoshop may find another tool. But I'm going to share my way of editing backgrounds. So let us start now. Here's this handsome young man. When you start, remember to take the lock off your picture. Otherwise, you can't edit it. Then using here my quick selection tool. We're going to just go around him and get him ready to put in another background. Up here, you have your brushes, which is your normal, plus and minus. As we go along, what I understand, I will explain to you. I don't like to use a big brush, um, a 74. I like to go a bit slower. And those of you who know Photoshop probably say, no, I'm being silly. But I, I like to work on a smaller one. Then I go around him slowly and make sure when I get what I want and we almost get in it. I take it down, 
take it down. And again, as you can see, we're not getting a lot of the background in. Don't worry about this part here. I want to show you what I do. And we have finished covering our baby. But as you can see now, oh, I'm going to take background with me. So this is when we go to the minus button up here. And we start just going around the baby figure again to get it right. And you can see, we also, as I go along, I change the size. Okay, and now there we have it. But at the very bottom, I've left Daddy's toes. So we go to the plus button. We just go up here. Yeah. Click here, there, and there. So it looks good. And this is where we now go to the refine edge. So we can see our selection, and it looks quite good, but we've lost his thumb here. We've lost a few details. So we're going to use these brushes up here. But before you even go there, always make sure you have new layer with layer mask okay we're not going to use any of this right now I'm going to use this pen and we're going to go around here and Photoshop is quite good as you can see there's his finger and it's picked up and that actually looks quite good it looks like we've got everything in once we're happy with that, then I go to my Just Edge, I smooth to make it look okay. Um, you will use your own settings. I normally go about 47, I smooth it. Remember feather? You can lose your whole picture if you feather too much. It just helps to so smooth things out. So I bring it down to about there, to 5.8. Contrast is to do how much. You can go to the edge. And you can bring a lot more of them out or you can make them even smaller so it, it, it depends what you want um, or what your art picture going to be I bring it up to 223 shift edge you can make them very skinny and lose everything you can bring too much back in so I always bring it down to where it suits me there. Now, I, I'm sort of happy, or I can bring them up a little bit more. Right. Then we go to Shift Edge, which is Photoshop's magic. Put it up to about there. And anything we've forgotten, normally Photoshop helps you bring it back. We press decontaminate colors. I always keep it at 50% in case a white comes through. It, it helps to darken the colors when you take it through. And we press OK. Wait a while while it works. It's magic. And as you can see, we come with the photo and a layer mask. Now we're going to go to our background. Again, take that out. Right, then we're going to duplicate and we're going to put it in the picture we're working with. Go back to our toddler and there's the picture. Put it how big you want it. Press OK. Now you're wondering, oh, oh, oh where's the picture? We go back to our layer, put it underneath our layer mask. And voila! There's our baby in a different background. So if you took these apart, he could be in white or like that. So that's how I do my backgrounds. Once you're happy with what you've done, and of course there is a lot more to it. You've got to blur your edge um, to make it more natural. 
and softer so it fits into the picture or you can uh, darken your your background which we can go to brightness we can bring the brightness down and we can put them in dark or we can take it right up which we back to our white but it's fine like it is and I'm happy but like they say photographers and artists so the end result is what you see and what you love so that is how I do my backgrounds using the quick selection tool once you have finished don't forget to flatten your layer and then voila save it I normally save it to my background save it as what document you want I normally do the JPEG and I save to my desktop a large file and there he's done so from nothing to something and in no time you too will be making all different backgrounds and you will enjoy enjoy it very much like I do so all I can say is thank you everybody and I hope I've been helpful with my backgrounds um, all the ums and ahs forgive me it's my first time I'm actually giving a lesson in Photoshop but I hope to see you again and for those who's wanting to learn Photoshop I'll send details and there are classes starting up so thank you everybody and have an absolute awesome day bye bye